So what is malware? So in the old days, way back in the 20th century, we talked about viruses and worms and Trojan horses, right? Today, we use this catch-all term malware. Right? So malware is a little piece of unwanted software that you get on a computer. You get it because you opened a booby trap attachment, you hit a rigged website, you picked up a USB stick you found in a parking lot and plugged it in. There's a lot of ways it can hit your computers and your network. Today, it's more likely that someone has obtained access to your network by guessing a password or exploiting an unpatched piece of your technology. Or maybe they bought that access from someone that's previously compromised a computer in your network and they sell that access. These are called initial access brokers. Then they deploy the malware they want on your network. That malware can search for records to steal. It can log your keystrokes. It can pull all the stored passwords out of your browsers, much more. One of the worst things is ransomware. The malware will encrypt everything in your environment and then extort you to get the decryption key. And this is billions of dollars in loss every year. So how do you avoid malware? Don't click on every link you get in your personal email. And in fact, don't use personal email from a work computer. That USB stick, give it to IT to figure out. That's what they're for, don't be curious. So watch out for this stuff. And when people talk about malware, just keep this in mind. It can do lots and lots and lots of things. Um, some of these are worse than others. Some of these, frankly, will just wipe out your network and you'll never get it back. Those are called wipers, okay? The catch-all term we use is malware. Watch out for it.